Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Second MRI. This is a 16-year-old male who fell while running, has knee pain and swelling, and on this view of his right knee, we see his kneecap in the front, and we see his femur here. This is the back of the knee, and this is the inner side, medial side, here's the outer side. And we, as we look at the patella, we see that it's in normal position, it's not slipped out of the joint, and we see the femur has an articular surface here in front, this is called the trochlear articular surface, and it's relatively flat. Normally there's a deeper V, a deeper trochlear groove, and the patella sits deep within there to give it stability. This is relatively horizontal, and when this is horizontal like this, it can lead to patellofemoral instability. The kneecap can slip out more easily. And as we go down here, we see a few findings. Number one, we see the medial retinaculum, the thing that holds the kneecap and the femur uh, together here on the medial side, we see lots of brightness over here. This is edema uh, associated with a tear of the medial retinaculum. So the medial retinaculum comes over here. It should attach over here in the femur. And instead, we see this bright edema hemorrhage tracking all the way around the back. So this patient has had a tear of the medial retinaculum. We see that when the kneecap dislocates. So the kneecap will slip laterally, especially when they have a shallow trochlea like this. And when it does, it rips this medial patellar retinaculum. So it looks like a transient patellar dislocation. And once it um, comes back, pops back to normal position, often the kneecap will be out lateral because of this is torn. But in this patient, it came right back to the neutral position here. Now these patients almost always have an injury of the uh, femur over here and sometimes the kneecap. And this patient does have a subtle injury of the kneecap and some of the ligament attachments along the bottom. And they also have brightness in the femur over here. This is a typical bone bruise. So the kneecap went way over here, hit, and popped right back to normal position. Now, these bone bruises here are usually above the articular surface, but sometimes they can come all the way down, down, down to the articular surface. Like right here, this little area is part of the articular surface. Most of that injury, though, is above the articular surface. It pops, comes back, and on this view, we're going to go down a little further, we see something in the front, so we see a little extra something here. This is a little displaced piece of material. It's going to be a meniscus fragment, a chondral fragment. Um, we're not sure at this point, but when we see a little bone bruise here along the articular surface and something so close, you wonder, is this related to um, the articular surface, an articular surface defect? So we're going to go on this view to check this out. On this view, if we look in the front, we do see this little fragment here. This is a little well-defined dark band surrounded by fluid. This is a little defect and it's so well-defined and clean it does look like a chondral fragment. And we're going to go up here to the articular surface. This is the femur, the medial condyle, lateral condyle, and this is that marrow edema. Most of it's above the articular surface, but as we come down here, this is the articular surface here. And we zoom this on up and we can see that on this one view, we have dark band here. This is the cartilage overlying the articular surface. And right here, it becomes bright. So there's a little defect from here to here that involves the articular cartilage and maybe the uh, subchondral cortex there and marrow edema. And so that little fragment tore off and went here towards the front. And we're going to see this on a side view. This is a sagittal view. We see this big bone bruise of the femur. Here's the kneecap the bone bruise of the femur and we're going to look for that fragment over here and there it is so there's a little displaced fragment so this is a case of transient patellar dislocation related to a shallow trochlear sulcus with a tear of the medial patellar retinaculum a large joint diffusion bone bruise in the lateral femur and then a small articular surface a full thickness chondral defect with a displaced chondral fragment into the anterior joint here and that's it. Thank you so much.